Alright my friends, welcome back to my walkthrough on Madhouse difficulty for Resident Evil 7. So, during this segment we are still in control of Mia and we need to find a way to rescue Ethan. Before you move on ahead, make sure you read that file. And we're going to jump down here and we're going to pick up an object which will allow us to go down the elevator. Just like in the previous part during this segment, we have no weapons to start things off, so we need to be careful because there are still enemies around and Mia is kind of defenseless. But during this first part, we really don't need to waste any time fighting any enemies. We can avoid all of them. And there's a few little tricks that you can use to your advantage, Maybe which I'll demonstrate more. later. For now, just keep pressing X. Ethan. I hope I make it in time. Okay. Bottom level. I guess they really don't want us to see his face. Liar! Stop it, Evelyn! Oh, fucking hallucinations. Where is she? Yeah, but at this point, I half expect her to appear around every corner, so I'm not even bothered by it. She's just a sneaky little child. But anyway, now that we have that, we can go down the elevator once again. Let's just open the elevator doors. And essentially what we need to do here is get two components for the elevator which will allow us to go to the floor where Ethan is. First let's use the handle here. And now there's going to be another file on the wall for you to read. It just explains what you need to do. And we need to go both down and up. We're going to start by going up. And let's go through here. Hello. Don't worry about this fat molded. He'll disappear once you close the door. And if you run straight to the door, you will always miss his attack. If you stay in the corner waiting for him to attack, then you'll be in trouble. But if you just pass by him, you really don't need to worry. You will be able to avoid uh, taking damage. And if you want, you can save your game there, just to be on the safe side. Pick up this antique coin. Unlock this door. And now we're going to go through here. There's two fat molded in this area. However, depending on the area that you step in, you can actually make them disappear. They disappear automatically. Let's pick up this bag. There we go. All the items that you get with Mia, eventually they'll be carried over to Ethan, so keep that in mind. There's another antique coin here. Which, by the way, we're going to get all of the antique coins during this segment. And get the Mad Pelican's trophy. Rotate this one, just like this, and... Now that we have a few extra corrosives, we can go down. And we're going to get the survival knife now. Okay, see that guy over there? Just run inside this room. Close the door behind you. Go over here and they dissolve. And you'll be able to get out. If for some reason they appear again, well... Just go back into that room and they will disappear again. Honestly, at this point, if you've been saving up ammunition like I have, you shouldn't be too concerned. Let's go back to the back room because otherwise we're in trouble. We don't want any. Don't you bother come running after me. And by the way, there's a mystery everywhere that we're going to collect here, but we need to have a gun in order to get it. So let's put the corrosive here. And in here we're going to find the key to the captain's locker, which will give us the assault rifle, 
and also one of those time bombs but for now we need to explore the bottom level we're going to pick up the fuse which we need to get in order to get the elevator working but be careful because there's a molded here who walks on all fours there he is, he's in that area I recommend that you save your game here because the next segment is going to be fairly tough or you know you might have some problems so save your game here okay and uh, now let's do this guys first we're going to use the corrosive to unlock a door which will give us access to the survival knife a little bit of ammunition and also a backpack which will allow us to carry more items so use your corrosive here very important and get the survival knife and the ammunition again even if you don't use all of your ammunition here it will carry over to Ethan later on so keep that in mind you don't need to go over there just be careful to make sure that the mold that isn't here in the corner if he is you should go around or wait for him to move forward and now just climb up and we won't have to come back to this bottom floor so we are good insert the fuse and now let's climb up we're going back to the fifth floor now or to the top floor and we're going to get the assault rifle because we will need it um, in the next part we won't be able to dodge all enemies or rather I don't want to say that it's impossible to dodge all enemies because who knows one of you might be able to pull it off but I wouldn't risk it anyway immediately turn here because there's a four-legged four legged molded walking around here ignoring and just get in here and now we're going to get another mister everywhere right over here and we're going to get another antique coin over here in the corner there we go we're going to have some company you know that when the music starts you know there's a molded waiting for you now it might be possible for you to open the door and actually make an escape before the molded can attack i don't know if this molded dissolves or not but we're not going to waste time here i will just shoot him quite frankly after you lose control of me uh, you shouldn't need the assault rifle i mean it's not a bad weapon for you to have it's really not but i would say that you won't need it Especially because Ethan has a bunch of other weapons available. Anyway, we're just going to dodge this guy, no point in wasting bullets here. Wait for him to come close and we'll go around. Sorry about your legs, bro. I wonder if these molded that don't have legs and just crawl around. Uh, did they infect people who couldn't walk or did they just get their legs blown off somehow? I'm sure it's the second option, I don't know. Anyway, let's place... Um, we're going to place a time bomb here. And get the extra corrosive, we're going to need it. In order to get one of the final antique coins, we need to, to get the corrosive or to get the extra corrosive so I'm going to attempt a strategy that might be a little dangerous but it works out better than probably staying here and fight so place a bomb there as you start rotating these things as you can see there's a fat molded and another molded coming after you but if you detonate the bomb as they're getting close that will stun them and they're very close darn it let's place another bomb here 
Let's detonate it. That should have stunned them at least, and we're getting out of here. The one mole that will always get his legs blown off. But with the fat molded, it really is important for you to stun it. It's possible for you to defeat it, but you really don't have a lot of place to run into. So I recommend that you place a couple of time bombs and then make a run for it. It's probably better. And that, in my opinion, was by far the hardest part of this segment. Hopefully that doesn't come to haunt me and I don't mess up here. But anyway, now let's go through here. There's a mold there. Get inside this room, they'll dissolve. And then turn back around. And now if you want to go back to the... To this room, you can pick up some extra ammunition by breaking the crate. There we go. Not that you'll need it, but it doesn't hurt. And now let's go back inside this room, to make them disappear, and also because we need to get the mister everywhere. So this should be mister everywhere number 17. Let's get it. I should have went back to the to the other room because if you go into this room I don't think the molded disappears. Okay, we're going to have to make a run for it guys, wish me luck. Oh get away from me. Close the door. Okay, we should be good now, don't worry about that parf. He won't hit you at all. Even if it goes through the wall somehow. And now we can get out of here. I should have went to the back room right away as soon as I saw him appear. That would have been wiser than what I did here. So I took a gamble but we're still good so that's all that matters. But if he appears guys, don't do what I did. Go back to the back room and if you do that you should be fine. Okay. Now get your weapons prepared though because Mia is going full commando here. He's waiting. Shooting everything that moves in this area isn't a bad idea and really that's the only strategy that I have. Nothing will keep Mia away from Ethan. She's going around. Save my husband! Let's get that one. And you can pick some extra ammunition here. Oh, there's another. Molded crawling his way here, but just close the door. You'll be fine. And now this is another tough segment We'll see Because there's a fat molded up there You dead? Yes Anyway, we have one time bomb. We're going to place it on the ground here. Be careful Let's wait for him to get close. That didn't even knock him down, that's not good. Okay, time to improvise here, guys. So if the time bomb doesn't knock him down and you can't pass through him, shoot like crazy. That works. And as a last resort, this will be your last area of defense, but we're good. I guess that time bomb delivered damage, it just didn't knock him down for some reason. On my practice run he did get knocked down. But anyway, now let's use the corrosive here to get another antique coin. There we 
go. And now let's go through here. That's where Ethan is, but instead we're going to get some more time bombs, which, like I said, can be used by Ethan, so... Doesn't hurt for you to have them, really. And now let's go save Mia's husband. I'm gonna stab you. Ethan. Ethan. Hey, shh, shh, shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. Girl, Evelyn, she did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces a way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to... Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her and you stop her. Ethan, free my family, please. Stay away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't you dare. So what? <laughs> You're not my mom. Remember? There's no time. You have to get out of here and find her. Here, take this. What? Wait, wait, wait. what are you doing? What are you doing? Saving your life. You need to go. I won't be able to resist for much longer. No. Now go kill that little bitch. No. No. Mia! No! Okay, guys, so... Sadly, Mia is left behind and now we're once again in control of Ethan. Right here in the corner you'll find an antique coin, make sure you pick it up. So you should have 32 by now and we're going to get the last one in just a little bit. How is this Ethan's fault? It's really not his fault at all. You could say that it's Mia's fault, she's very much involved in all of this. And I don't know about you guys, but that last talk with Jack where he doesn't act like a complete lunatic. Well, I really feel bad for the bakers because they were victims in all of this. I wouldn't go as far as to say that Lucas isn't a murderer. I mean, he's a little bit insane. I think he was insane even before um, the infection happened. But I feel really bad for them because they actually seem like really nice people before Evelyn took control of them. So, yeah. Anyway guys, as you can see we got the Mad Pelicans trophy, I wanted you to see that if you follow this walkthrough you will get that trophy.
And there's a mystery everywhere here for us to shoot, but we need to get a weapon first. So don't worry about it quite yet. Let's get that radio working. Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. I would say we had more than a skirmish, though. I wonder if Bravo team is going to die. Ala Resident Evil 1. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for this segment. In the next part, we're going to conclude Madhouse difficulty and finish off Evelyn. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this segment useful and I will see you all later. Take care.